Hi guys, today I'll make for you short guys if you're relocating to Chicago and you're on a budget. You know, I wish I knew all of that, what I'm gonna share with you today. <laughs> so it will be helpful if you have, for example, $1,000 or $2,000 in your pocket and you are just relocating to the USA. These things will help you a lot. A few days ago I saw a gentleman who was writing in one of the groups on Facebook that he is looking for some recommendations where to buy this, this and that. And I was like, hmm, it's very really interesting. I can shoot some vlog about it and uh, some video like sharing my experience because uh, you know like I was lost and you just basically you hear some information but you don't know exactly where to find these necessary things. So Number one, if you are relocating to the USA, look for one dollar store or they called Dollar Tree. You know why? Because uh, they sell absolutely everything there and pretty cheap. And I can tell you that those stuff which you buy in Dollar Store, you can find in Amazon, but in two times more. So why to spend so much money if you can buy it? in dollar store you know I relocated to Chicago and when I saw those stores I was like oh my god this is a blessing because you know when I used to live in Dubai they don't have such stuff there <laughs> it's basically a place for spending money also if you live in the area which is a little bit remote from downtown of Chicago but you live for example in Logan Square or uh, Wicker Park you will be able to find small shops where Hispanic people are selling stuff. I'm telling you, just go there and buy stuff. Because you know, like you will go to a bigger mall and you will find the same stuff there which are sold in Hispanic shop. I really love that. I'm sorry, <laughs> big malls, but I support <laughs> small businesses. Like for example, I'm relocating to the USA with the charger like this <laughs> and this one in Hispanic shop will cost you maybe two dollars or one dollar but in Walmart it will cost you ten or fifteen dollars so why do you pay so much <laughs> you just can buy this thing and it works literally it works food where can you buy cheap food and good quality look for Polish stores if you are relocating to Chicago because we have lots of Polish people here and also I like Tony's this is two supermarkets which I really like then of course I can tell you go to Trader Joe because they have really good quality and they have organic but the prices there a little bit different <laughs> they are coming closer to Whole Foods if you didn't see my video I already shot a video about uh, supermarkets uh, uh, in Chicago Whole Foods and it seems to me it was a uh, Polish supermarket so you can see the difference in prices there Walmart can be an option if uh, you need some for example kitchen utensils they have really good stuff and I'm still using it and it has been one year and they have really good quality and reasonable prices so go there but I don't know like many people don't advise to buy meat in Walmart I don't know why but I've never bought meat in Walmart so when I relocated to Chicago I was still buying uh, organic food just because uh, I was allergic maybe you've seen one of my videos where I was talking that uh, my body couldn't accept any food so I had to buy only organic food because I had some kind of uh, vomiting all the time whatever I was eating and I felt like uh, vomiting and it was the same with the water so I couldn't drink water from the cattle, from the tap, boiled water, like for example tea I was feeling like vomiting so I had to buy in the bottles and I used to spend lots of money on that but it was like, you know, the time when you uh, transforming from European person into American person. If you are relocating to the USA and you don't have money at all, but you need clothes, so you can go to secondhand stores and they are called here thrift store, 
Salvation Army and the last one Goodwill. So the next level for the clothes goes to Nordstrom, TJ Maxx and Marshall. They are outlet malls and they sell really good stuff. The stuff which you can buy online, the same brand, you can buy in Marshall, Nordstrom or TJ Maxx and in two times uh, cheaper. I really like that place. Those shops are really good. This one is from that mall. It was from TJ Maxx, I guess, and I paid only $20, so $25, and it's so soft, you even can't imagine. And I washed it already like three times, and look, the quality is still there. There was stuff which I used to buy here in the USA, and I washed them two times, and garbage, you can just throw it away. But I didn't pay that much, I paid like and $15 here clothes very cheap you know people here they're not getting crazy about fashion like in Europe uh, we would spend lots of money and about it <laughs> because I want some stuff from Europe and they are so fancy and so glamorous <laughs> what are the prices in TJ Maxx for example if you want to buy socks three or four pairs of socks will cost you six seven dollars even five for example, you want to buy something like this, it will cost you 15, 20, 25 dollars, maximum 25. Of course, they have uh, extremely expensive brands and they would sell one sweater for, I don't know, 80 dollars, but people go there just to save money. <laughs> and, but you know, I wanted to buy one of the coats today and it cost something like 250 dollars already with discount because it was going to coat and uh, it was uh, made out of them and original price was 800 i was like wow this is such a good catch but then you know we had this black friday and we went to another mall and i bought the winter jacket there for 150 dollars so i'm like okay it's fine furniture if you want to buy furniture mm -hmm. you can go to craigslist you can go to offer up or you can go on Facebook, there is a marketplace or there is one group, it's called something like buy and sell but I'm gonna put a picture either here or there so you would know how it looks like and I just saw that they have 120,000 people there I'm like, hmm, very nice and you know, one of my friends who just relocated from his old apartment he sold many stuff there and he's just like selling for example, uh, this thing for $50, he sold his sofa for $75, I'm like, okay, not bad. And you know, one of my friends uh, recently sold a gas stove for $200 and you know, her boyfriend wanted to throw it away and uh, he actually wanted to hire people to come and get it out from his house and throw it away. And she said like, no, wait. I'll try to sell it and imagine she sold it she called me yesterday she's like Victoria I sold so many stuff online I'm like wow such a nice business travels if you need to go from one location to another location and you don't have a car so you can use the bus you will need a Ventra card you can buy it in any metro station not metra metro <laughs> I'm European and I'm calling it Metro or Underground, <laughs> how New Yorker would call it. You can go to a Metro station, buy that card and put some money on that card and you can use it on Metro and on the bus. So the fare will cost you $2.25 and if you want to enter the bus and you don't have the Central card, they will charge you $2.50. Note, if you want to travel, from city to suburb, you need to buy the ticket on Metra. It is a train, two level train, and it costs approximately five or six, seven dollars. You need to use a phone. I have a very good solution for you. You know, if you are a family of three or four people, you can go to T Mobile or Horizon and create a family. So there will be, for example, three or four people in this small family 
and you will be getting one bill and you will be sharing this bill because you know if you are one person and you want to go and just get the card for your phone so you will pay every month approximately $80 or $100 we we have a family of seven or eight people and we are paying only $35 per person if you like to do remodeling with your hands and you know how to do it there are two shops main big brands Home Depot it's absolutely everything for construction and there is another one Menards and if I remember something else <laughs> I'll write it here <laughs> if you want to buy property there is a website called Zillow.com here you can see how to write it so there you will see absolutely everything apartments houses townhouses you will see the prices you will see the ratings for the schools why is it important because you will pay taxes and taxes will be spent on schools that's why americans have three four kids because uh, you still buy property you pay taxes like for example you have four bedroom apartment or three bedroom apartment you will pay one thousand dollar in taxes every month so that's why americans plan to have many kids <laughs> but if you live in a huge house and you have only one kid but you still have to pay taxes and those taxes will be spent on schools also on Zillow you will see how much people pay in the past for the property for example a person who is selling an apartment right now uh, bought it in 2008 for blah 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 I guess everybody knew uh, this word Amazon literally you can buy there absolutely everything and they deliver quite fast and you can return there absolutely everything whatever you are buying and it's so convenient you know like before relocating to the USA I was not into online shopping now I buy a lot of stuff online like so so much stuff if you like to uh, buy vitamins there is a website called iHerb so there you will find everything cheaper than in uh, pharmacy pharmacy if you need a pharmacy you will not see the sign pharmacy like in my country I was really surprised because you know like I was asking one of my friends I was like where can I buy this medicine and he was like in a pharmacy I was like where can I find it I was like I just can't see it and he was like go to Walgreens or CVS so this is how pharmacy called in the USA I was really surprised because in my country uh, it is called pharmacy that's it if you need to make a copy of any document or you need to scan a document do you know where you can find it in Western Union I was like what it's impossible and my boss told me he was like yeah you can do that because I had to send fax to IRS and uh, at my previous work uh, our fax machine was not working and I was like why can I do that and they just accept only faxes and my boss told me he was like go to Western Union I was like I don't want to send the money I was like you didn't get it and he was like no go to Western Union because it is the place where you can send fax and also you can do a copy but it's quite expensive but you know like this is like in extra case if it's emergency this is the place where you can do the copy of very important documents if you want me to shoot some content on the topic which you are really interested in and it is related to the USA just write it down in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to give me likes and don't forget to subscribe press the bell you can get notified as just I'm uploading new video on my YouTube see you soon bye bye